All right, it's our second week with our math sorting mat. And this is something that you wanna really keep, take really good care of because we are gonna use this more than just one time. This week we have math envelope there that says week two on it. And inside we have different things to sort. So this time we have all these interesting bugs and everybody has kind of some different colored ones, but there are more. Last week we only had red and green circles and squares. This time we have a little bit more to sort. So we're gonna put them in the middle because that's where we start sorting from. And we're gonna really think about how they're the same and that's how we're gonna put them together. I could do, this is a dragonfly, so I'm gonna start with him. I don't know what's gonna go with that yet, but I'm gonna put him over there. And this one's a butterfly. Hmm, that one's different than that one, so I'm gonna put him over here. And once I put them, I can always go back and move them if I find something, a better way of doing it. This one is a yellow bee. That's different than those, so I'm gonna put that one over there. Now this one, it's yellow, but it's still a dragonfly. So I think I'm gonna put him there for now, but I might go back and change it. Uh oh, this one's different than any of those. So I'm gonna put it right here, because he's, he's different. The next one, huh, that one is purple, but it's still a ladybug. So I think those two can go together because they're both ladybugs. Just like these two were both dragonflies. And then I have another bee. I'm going to put it with this one because there's bee and a bee, ladybug, ladybug, dragonfly, dragonfly, and then this one doesn't really match any of them. So it can go over here. Now there are other ways to sort this. That was just one way. I'm just going to show you that one. But there are lots of other ways you can sort them. So you can put them all back in the middle again and then you can go through and you can sort them. Okay, sorting is putting things together because we call them attributes. That's the way they look or the way they're shaped or the color that they are. Those are their attributes. And we sort them into the quadrants on our, our sorting mat because they're the same. They might look the same. They might be the same color. They might be the same shape. I don't know. I want dying to see how you sort yours. There is more than one way. There's more than two ways. Okay, I'm dying to see what you come up with.